Uh, yeah, tell, tell us first how it has been so far for you. We started straight with the mountain. How did you survive that? Uh, yeah, the first two days were really hard, especially uh, uh, the first race after my break. And uh, yeah, I just have to say it's not really easy just to be back on the bike and with uh, to race with the girls on the highest level, but it's just uh, to be built up for the Tour de France and for what's coming. And how do we feel now after two days of race, even if it was a day yesterday? I already feel a bit tired, but I, yeah, I think we had two really hard days. But it's uh, yeah, really nice and really special to race in this area, and I really like it. And yeah, but I think all the other girls are also tired, so it's gonna be fun today. It's a really different type of course today. What will happen? What Sorry? You, it's a really different course today than it was on Saturday, for example. What do you think will happen? What do you predict? Uh, there's already a really steep climb after 6K. I think that there's a breakaway going, maybe already there. And otherwise, I think there's a breakaway uh, going who can make it uh, to the finish line. And I hope that I can be in. Because I don't think that they, yeah, that Asibers can control all the race. And uh, yeah, it's also not really necessary for them because the time uh, gaps are already quite big. How many riders do you think can make it to the end on if there is a late attack in uh, the last climb? Um, when, uh, yeah, when the final is on and there's a late attack, I think uh, that will be a group with five, six riders who made it to the finish line. I wish you to be in then. Thank you very much. Have a good luck.